Hi, my name is Jochen and this January I challenged myself to record as many jams as I can. Today I want to draw a conclusion, so if you are just here for the music, make sure to skip to the jam and thanks for watching. If you haven't heard about Jamory, it's a challenge that YouTuber Koku invented in 2007 to motivate people to just make music. Everybody does its own interpretation of it. Some people do a jam every day, some do just one or two during the month, but they all uploaded their jams to YouTube. And that's what I've been doing for the last two Januarys. This year I made 13 videos and I'm quite happy with that number. Every January participant knows the stress of squeezing in a jam after a stressful day and this year I found a nice balance between pushing myself to do nice jams and not forcing myself to do too much. And maybe for that reason I'm even happier with the general quality of my jams. To me one of the best things about Jamory is to make myself do things differently. I want my jams to be diverse and it was a lot of fun to try different things every jam. All in all I used 17 different audio sources and to get to that number I used a lot of gear that wouldn't get a lot of use normally, including acoustic guitars and my voice. But to keep it simple enough I fell back on some usual suspects. With 9 videos, the Moog Grandmother appeared in most of my jams. I barely use it for anything else than bass lines, but it just has very large sweet spots to quickly dial in nice sounds. My beloved Microcork had the second most appearances in 6 videos, and if you know my channel, it should be no big surprise to you. It's just another synth where I always find a nice sound very quickly. But on shared third place, there are two instruments in 5 videos each, which I usually don't use that much. I fell in love with the CZ5000 for another time. Programming its quirky sequencer is just a lot of fun and I made use of that a lot. Also to sequence other synths. And then there is the Nord stage. I've been neglecting it recently and I was already close to sell it since I'm more into synthesizers than stage keyboards. A friend had borrowed it for most of the last year and when I got it back I fell in love with its Rhodes sound once again, which I almost exclusively used this month. It is just a beautiful and versatile sound for most jams and playing it is a lot of fun to me even if I'm not a good piano player. So I guess I have to keep it just for that reason. But every January has come to an end. And that is a good thing, because as much fun as it was, keeping up that pace would be unhealthy and bad for the relationship to my girlfriend, who had to suffer quite a bit. For the grand finale of this year's January, my bandmate Nico joined me for another time. Jamming with friends is one of the best parts of Jamory and last year I already finished Jamory in a jam with Nico that easily was one of my favorite jams of the last years at all. We use just our voices and a ton of pedals and I highly recommend you to give it a listen. This year we tried to keep it in the same fashion, using just acoustic guitars instead of voices. And once again I feel it was the perfect way to end a awesome month. But the most important thing about January is you. Reading all your comments and interacting with you was so wholesome, I really enjoyed it a lot. Listening to your jams, hearing all that awesome music that has been produced this month and feeling the good vibes was really incredible. Whether you're just a listener or a January participant as well, I really appreciate you being here. So thank you very, very much for that. Thank you for all the love and the many great hours I had with you this month. So if you like, check out my January playlist and subscribe if you don't want to miss next January. Thanks for watching and 
Enjoy!
Thank <laughs> you.